every plate served at Panela is a dream realized for Viviana Acevedo. For me as a chef, I want to be able to showcase all the different regions of Colombia. After training at Le Cordon Bleu in Cambridge, Viviana worked in restaurants for years before deciding to open her own in Lowell in 2020. I want to give people the 100% Colombian feeling. The small details is what really matters. And bringing the potato from Colombia, the panela itself, uh, bringing the beans, which are like a different type of rare beans. The restaurant's namesake, Panela, is an unrefined whole cane sugar, the majority of which is produced in Colombia. One thing about your kitchen is that it smells very sweet in here. Yes. <laughs> it's very, all that panela. It's all the panela, all the love. There's a flavor that nobody else is going to have. It just makes it feel so much more like home. One dish that relies heavily on that sweet import is the ribs, topped with a sweet or spicy panela glaze. Once I start cooking, it's almost peaceful. It's almost like you can hear like classic music in my brain. My kitchen is my piece, and that's when I find the way of creating. Other creative concoctions include arepas made with yuca, plantains, or rice instead of the traditional corn. It's like art. Food is art. The carimañolas are savory yuca balls with gooey cheese on the inside and a sweet panela aioli glaze on the outside. They're very cheesy. I love cheese. This is perfect. Ooh, there it goes. Viviana has worked nonstop since she moved here when she was just 15, undocumented and only speaking Spanish. The opportunity that this country gives us is, is just amazing. It's, it's anybody can get anything they want as long as they work hard for it. How crucial is it for immigrants like yourself? like me, to share our culture. It's very important. I feel like for me, Lobo has helped me a lot because Lobo is full of so many different cultures. We have Cambodians, we have Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, and we all come together. A collective celebration of this cross-section of culture. It means I came to do what I came to do. I came to accomplish my dreams and to help my family thrive. In Mexico, it's all about like getting the friends and family together. And as immigrants, you know, sometimes we don't get to have that. And I think having a restaurant makes you feel like you have that. It's like having a party every day. Reina Irais Valdez Hule opened Acitron Restaurant in Arlington with her husband in 2011. We knew Arlington Center needed one of the most traditional cuisines in the world, Mexican cuisine. There was nothing in the center. This is a good spot for it. Let's do it. The pair met while working in the restaurant industry that welcomed Irais when she moved here at just 19 years old. It was a huge adventure because I didn't speak a single word of English. Raised on a cattle ranch in northern Mexico, Irais's menu covers cuisines from the whole country, all the way down to the southern tip of Yucatan. It's a very rich country. We have so many ingredients, so we try to put that all those ingredients together. From the southern region, the cochinita pibil is slow-cooked pork seasoned with achiote and served with elote, rice, and corn tortillas. When you're a teenager and you're like falling in love with somebody, it's like, that's the feeling I get when I walk through the kitchen. For Irais, the most important item on the menu is the sensory experience it elicits. When you have that kind of imagination and you can bring all those things together, you can make magic. The pan de elote Mexican cornbread is topped with creamy poblano pepper sauce. The molotes are sweet plantain stuffed with beef picadillo, lightly fried, served atop mole, and drizzled with sour cream. To be in this position right now, it does make me feel proud. A fine feast for the customers she considers friends and feeds like family. I've been here for almost 20 years. I always feel welcome, and that's been the key for me. That's why I continue to be here and I'm hoping to be around for many more years.
delicious and the name of the restaurant has special meaning. Acetron is a crystallized cactus used to decorate the traditional cake served on Three Kings Day. Three Kings Day is on January 6, which happens to be Onar Iraisa's birthday. Coming up on the radio with a local legend.